Hello guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to talk about how you can install Gemini CLI in VS Code. This is really simple. Let me show you step by step. So at first, you have to actually go to the browser and you have to search for Gemini or Gemini CLI. All right. And hit enter. And here you will find first link github.com as J Google Gemini. Okay. So click here in the first thing and scroll a little bit down. You will find some command here. You can see uh, to install globally with npm. So uh, it means you have to have Node.js in your PC. So just go to the CMD and type here Node.js. So Node hyphen hyphen version. Hit enter and here you can see I have Node.js installed in my PC. If you don't have, you just have to install it. Uh, so let me show you. Uh, just go to the node.js and download node.js okay here you can see your option here get node.js click here and select the long term support version but currently we have a uh, version 25 right so don't go with this just go with the long term support okay any of the long term support and uh, then just click here dot nsi and it will be downloaded just you have to install it okay and after that you just have to actually um, go for the env system environment variable click here and edit system environment variable and then click here path under system variables and click here edit and here you can see we have here node.js uh, added so what you have to do you have to actually go for the file and then uh, where you have actually installed i mean in which drive just you have to go there so in this case c drive and then you will uh, go to the program files here you can see and after that you will find node.js folder and you will find something like this okay node.js folder just open it and here uh, you just have to actually select in the address bar okay to copy this you just have to actually right click on it and copy that file i mean path okay url and after that you have to actually add here by clicking here new and then paste it i already added it here you can see i'm not going to do this once again and what you have to do you just have to actually press okay and then okay okay uh, and after that you will find uh, node.js uh, globally i mean when you actually go for the cmd and if you type node.js node uh, hyphen v you will find node.js version okay we have installed node.js now we can actually install globally uh, this google gemini cli through this command so just copy this command now open vs code you will find something like this you just have to actually go for the uh, terminal okay so click here in the terminal and then click here terminal the new terminal and after that you just have to paste the command here npm install hyphen g at google slash gemini and CLI. Okay, hit enter. Here you go. It's working. So, guys, here you can see we have successfully um, installed, right? Here you can see we have added Gemini, Gemini CLI. Okay. And now, um, if I say here, let's say Gemini and hit enter in your home directory, here you can see. And do you want to run? Okay. So, do you want to connect VS Code to? Uh, Gemini CLI will say yes. We'll hit enter. And you can see fail to install VS Code. Computer extension, please try restoring Gem uh, Gemini CLI companion manually from a VS Code extension market test. So let's just go to the extension here in the left side. And here we'll say GE Tamayanal Gemini CLI. And we'll actually, uh, here you can see this is the first one. Uh, and this is from the Google. Here you can see. And we just have to actually install it okay install it by clicking to install and we'll actually see like this trust audition and install and here we go here we go uh, we have successfully installed it right and now on a, let's just go back to the terminal once again and here you go now we have this we can now remove this because we have installed it successfully and now here we can actually now uh type any message and we can actually do our project okay so we can actually say here that okay and um, generate type I only said that is CSS he did that open near but it was near me and here you can see we have a little warning here and that is you are running G uh, Gemini CLI in your home directory yeah, it's recommended to run in the project specific directory so it it's uh, it better that we if we actually create a project here uh, and then we actually uh, run this command okay now let's just open a folder i mean i want to create a folder let's say i want to create a folder here and i will say here that and uh, gemini vs course okay vs code hit enter and i will select the folder and from here we are going to actually uh, 
I mean, I want to open here CMD. I do that. Okay. Here, uh, CMD. And go for the terminal, new terminal. And here, what I'm going to do, I'm going to write here, G-E-M-I-N-I, Gemini. And after that, we'll find this command. And here, now, if we type that, I uh, want, uh, no. Mm. now, hit enter. Now, you can see, we have applied these changes. So, we'll actually have to say here, enter, to actually select this, enter, okay. And here you can see we got index.html file. Now we have to wait for some days for the CSS file. And here you can see creating. And now one second we have to press enter because we want to allow it. And here you go. Now we have uh, about us and uh, all the pages, right? So we have to actually say about.html. And here you can see finalizing. Okay, done. Now we got everything. Now we actually want to delete this uh, um, terminal. Now here you can see we have all the file now. To check it in the real time, you need an extension and that is called live preview or live server. So live preview basically uh, show here a preview in the in the VS code. And if you want to show the output in the server, uh, I mean browser, then actually you have to use here live server. So let's just uh, open this live server and here we'll actually uh, install it. It's installed. Now we will actually go to the file and here you will find here option go live. Now we click here go live. And here you can see this is the website. And we can actually go to the about us, contact us and then home page, right? So that's it guys. If this video is helpful for you, please make sure to give a like and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Thank you so much for watching.